Good afternoon guys, how are you today? Welcome to TMXing Adventures. My name is Lisa Keegan and today it's really wet here and I'm coming to you a bit late because technology and rain, I don't know if you can see it dripping down from outside the curtain there, but I wanna show you today how easy it is to make poached eggs, how easy it is to make cafe style food in your Thermomix. So often we'll go out to a cafe and we will spend $25 on breakfast when you can make it so easily in your Thermomix. So yesterday I made a beautiful zucchini loaf check yesterday's video out today we've got the poached eggs tomorrow we've got the capsicum hollandaise which is just a divine so today though poached eggs this water has just come to a boil in thermomix now i was originally going to do the blade cover poached eggs however can't find my blade cover and some of you guys may not have a blade cover so i thought i'd use today's recipe based on that but do it with the simmering basket now this will work in a tm5 a tm31 tm6 another thermo cooker as long as you can get your water to the boil so I'm just going to open up you see it's been a busy day cooking here here we go blade cover poached eggs now I'm going to still use the blade cover poached eggs as the guide but I'm going to cook it with the simmering basket inside so you guys possibly can see maybe not well let's have a look at the camera yes you can you can see I've got my TM6 um, basket in there so we're gonna start cooking straight away it says line a plate with a towel Crack two eggs, or I've got four today, insert the blade cover, and bring 1,700 grams of water to the boil. Now, I've gone a little bit more than that. I've gone about 1,900, and then you need to and you need to also add into their 50 grams of vinegar. I've added more like 100 grams because I'm a bit heavy-handed. Insert the measuring cup, and then, and you would normally have your blade cover in there, and the blade cover protects the blades so that water can boil. The eggs can go in, they don't touch the blades. I am using this instead, okay? I have my simmering basket in there. Let me show you how to do it with that. This brings it to the boil. Next, here we go. So now it's telling us to add our eggs one at a time through the lid. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky with our TM6 because we've only got a small hole to add it through. So we're going to go back here. Where is that step? Here we go. Spin the dial and it's got three minutes. Now I'm doing extra eggs, I'm doing four, so I do actually need to extend my cook time on here. So it is moving around in there, the water. I've got my eggs pre-cracked. This is really important, guys. If you don't pre-crack them, they stick to the shells. And it's going to take four minutes. So I'm just looking in there to check my water's boiling. And because I've been talking so long, it's actually dropped a tad bit down to, oh no, here we go. I was gonna say it's down to 95, now it's up to 98. Now it's at 100. Yay, that's what I need. So let's put these little eggs in one at a time, through the hole, into the top. Now they will start setting straight away or congealing in there. So you do want to be fairly quick and you also need to have a look at the time. I've got two minutes and 20 seconds left. I want a total of three and a half to four minutes, whoops, splashy, splashy, on that timer. So I'm going to come back here now and I find I find having this many eggs is four minutes, okay? But I can take off a little bit because it's ha already happening in there. Now, little tip, keep that heat in. Put your measuring cup in the top. As I said, TM31, TM5 or some other thermo cooker, this will work beautifully. We're gonna let it cook for those three and a bit minutes and then we're going to lift the whole basket out. And that is an advantage to cooking with the simmering basket is you can lift the whole basket out. But if you've got the blade cover and you do need to get a slotted spoon to lift those beautiful, um, poached eggs out of there okay there are other ways of poaching eggs so let's quickly just talk about that we've got two and a bit minutes to go now a recipe i was doing for very many years with my other model thermomixes was the one in the shell now this is where you actually poach your eggs more so in the shell so they kind of are being cooked in that shell for 12 minutes and i think it was 70 degrees i will look up the recipe i'll put it in the comments for you the thing I loved about that recipe is a zero mess. Because you're actually cooking them in the shell, you then crack off the shell, open it up, and you get a perfect poached egg. Not boiled. I know you're probably thinking, oh, it's boiled eggs. No, no, it is poached. It's that texture, and it's perfect. And the water, especially when I'm camping, you could use that water then for your sink water next to do your washing up after breakfast. So that's in the shells. I'll tag that below. You've obviously got the version today with the simmering basket. You've also got the version with the blade cover. Um, the other way you can do your eggs is to actually sunny side up our Varoma them. So you're going to steam your eggs. That's not poaching, it is steaming. But if you don't have access to a, a fry pan or a barbecue, a beautiful way of doing it where you put baking paper on your Varoma tray, so the flat tray, crack your eggs onto it. Now look that up on Cookie Do. I'll put the link below as well, those sunny side up eggs. Um, oh, hi to those of you saying hi today. Thanks for coming on, by the way. 
The other way you can do your eggs is obviously with the boiling boiled eggs mode on the TM6. So we've got our, I wonder if I can get out and show you. If I swipe sideways, I've got my manual function. So here you can see I've got an egg boiler mode. It won't let me start it while the Thermomix is going because I can't think about two things at once. But that allows you to pick what texture you want your egg to be. So soft, soft, medium, 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 hard, hard. And it actually then just takes the guesswork out of it. Just a little note on that recipe though. It is a TM6 recipe. Um, it'll ask you to put those eggs in the base of the bowl. No blade cover, no nothing. It is just eggs with the blades and water. And it feels really weird putting eggs in next to the next to the blades. I did see someone online the other day talk about the fact that she accidentally put it on the pre-clean because she was just on autopilot mode. So just don't do that. I'd love to know that on the chat. How do you do your eggs? Tell me in the chat box. Is it poached? Is it uh, steamed? Is it fried? It's okay if it's fried. I still use a barbecue or a stovetop if you want to do a stovetop. But um, I'd love to know what's your favorite way of doing eggs in your Thermomix or other ways. Do let me know. And if you've not tried some of these other ways, it's time to level up and give them a go because I tell you they make life so much easier. Now we're nearly done. You'll need your spatula to get this out. I do have my good old, very old TM31 spatula here. It's well loved. You can see it's got a little mix out of it. I'm going to lift the whole basket out in a minute and then roll them hopefully perfectly onto the plate ready to go on the bread for dinner tonight. So nearly there, four seconds and we're nearly done. Alright, the moment we've been waiting for. Let's see how they've gone in there. By the way, I do find fresher eggs are better and the colder the better. I find if they're hot air, if they're room temperature eggs, well these look absolutely amazing to the point that they might actually nearly be underdone. They look very soft. But yes, if you've got um, eggs that are, are older, they start to drop their whites out and you'll notice that they just, you end up with a little bowl of, um, a little blob of yolk in there. I'm just draining it very carefully here and I'm just gonna roll these out. I just wanna grab I'm gonna check you guys can see. So, yeah, that one's, oh, borderline undercooked. Dropping the spatula, hang on. Just trying to get them out. There we go. So, at least two of them are absolutely perfectly done. Let me just see if I can grab the spatula to show you. Now you put them on baking paper so that it absorbs the water because obviously they've come out of water. Let me just, I don't know if I can show you without messing it all up but there you go poached eggs in your thermomix if i have my ice cream scoop sorry guys give me a second i'll see if i can scoop one to show you what it looks like borderline undercooked if anything for four so by the way three eggs three minutes two eggs two minutes okay try not to go over four i have done six before it just doesn't have the same effect i don't know if i can lift this up without here we go here we go there you go there it is perfectly oh there's a the camera perfectly poached eggs in your thermomix in minutes now a little tip for those of you with a tm6 use your kettle feature to bring that water to the boil so that it happens faster um, but otherwise that's it you can reuse this water poach some more eggs if you'd like just make sure before you add them they are up to at least 98 degrees if not 100 to make sure that they cook through and they will cook a little bit on the plate afterwards as well so keep an eye on that but otherwise poached eggs in your Thermomix oh so easy I'd love you to give it a go love to see your photos if you're cooking things for Father's Day and things like that coming up share your beautiful creations as you're making things like croissants and uh, zucchini loaf and things like that I'd love to see your pictures so please don't be shy share them with us but otherwise have a fantastic afternoon and evening take care I am here to support you to get the most out of your Thermomix so please do let me know if I can assist you in any way and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.